How's it going over here? Making work safer. Excellent. For the crews that protect SEA Airport. It's everything. Firefighter safety is my number one priority. Getting rid of something that's potentially carcinogenic and causing harm to my firefighters. We have three firefighters that have uh, retired and have had through exposures in the way we worked with fighting fires back in the early days, um, had developed pancreatic cancer. So we can't definitively say it was this, but we can't say it's not. Right now, workers from a Washington based PFAS removal contractor are removing residue of forever chemicals left over from a formerly used firefighting foam. They take their soap and they're adding it into the water. They're mixing it up, sending it into the truck. This is locked in. In 2018, Washington State passed a law restricting uses of foam with PFAS. And last year, the FAA approved new foam formulas for use at airports. But just using a different foam doesn't get rid of existing residue. Hey, that one's disabled too. Chief so. Randy Krause started firefighting in 1985 before PFAS and foam were widely known. In recent blood tests for a 30 year study, he learned he has high levels of two chemicals common in the foams. He hopes that won't be the case for others. My levels are elevated, but I don't know what that means and I don't live my life in fear of that. Um, but hopefully we get we can inform decision making and educate the, um, the future new firefighters that and, and protect them in some way from the information that we gain from the study. Excellent. Got it rolled up. This is thought to be the first airport fire department using this cleaning process in the nation, though others are adopting it as well. Reporting from SEA, Eric Zuko, King 5 News.